How are you feeling right now, Brian Smith? I'm a nervous wreck. I might look like I'm cool and all, but I'm a nervous wreck, man. I want that trophy really bad. We're gonna find out how this works out. Can we make history here and have the first Canadian ever win it? Or will Brian Schmidt be our Bassmaster Classic champion? Two anglers left. Let's roll through our leader since day number one. He is one of only two Canadians to ever win a Bassmaster Elite Series event. Fishing his fourth Bassmaster Classic from Kenora, Ontario, Canada. The great Canadian Snow Leopard, Gussie Jeff Gustafson. He has dominated this tournament since day number one. He has won six days of competition on this incredible river. One of these anglers is about to become a Bassmaster Classic champion. For the first time, Gussie struggles. Just two fish today. Needs five pounds, four ounces. Six pounds, 13 ounces! 613, Gussie gets it done, and oh Canada, you have a Bassmaster Classic Champion! <laughs> 42 pounds, seven ounces, and for the first time in history, Canada Woo! has a Bassmaster Classic champion! <laughs> Unreal! Unreal! One more time! <laughs> Gussie, you are truly one of the nicest people in this industry. My biggest worry when you came to the Elite Series is he's too nice. He doesn't have enough dog in him. But you are the lead dog for this entire year. You came into this event, it looked like you were rolling away with it. But man, everybody wants to see a great champion challenge. And boy, were you challenged today. Tell me how that felt. Uh, that was the, one of the hardest days of my life. Um, I mean, since six o'clock this morning, my heart's been, you know, it's, uh, it's, and I fished my butt off, I, I looked at, 100 fish today on my Mega Live, and they were hard to catch. It was the sun, it was the pressure, um, and uh, <laughs> thankfully two of them bit my bait. And I, I mean, uh, yeah, the ride back, it was an hour boat ride, and uh, I'd never had to run it hot coming back here before. I, I, I ran back, and it was, it was horrible. Um, Brian, my camera guy, we had a, I, I, I was great, it was great spending the time with him this weekend, and he, uh, he kind of consoled me a little bit, but it was, I didn't feel like I was even going to be close or have a chance, and um, <laughs> unbelievable, what a, it's a crazy sport. You come from a small town in northern Ontario called Kenora. Kenora has Kenora Bass International, which is a giant tournament. And the big deal at the Kenora Bass International is you want to ride in the tent because they have a drive through way in in the tent. Well, you're about to ride in the biggest tent in professional bass fishing from a small town in northern Canada to the top of the industry. Oh, man, it's, it's been a wild ride. Um, I'm only here because I, I'm a regular guy. I had a lot of help to get here. Um, I have amazing sponsors or I wouldn't be out here. And, my whole career has been in a Lund boat, and uh, that's my office, and I love that thing. And um, man, I, 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 so many people to thank. My dad and grandpa took me fishing when I was a little kid, and uh, you know, if no one takes kids fishing, they're never going to go. So take your kids, your neighbor's kids, your buddy's kids, and uh, it, dreams can come true, man. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I, this is incredible. It's insane. Truly insane. Where's the trophy? It's right there, but you're gonna have to get it from your buddy who you've been traveling with all year long. I'd like to bring out Jason Christie to do the handoff. Oh, 
A wire to wire win for the great Canadian Snow Leopard. Oh, Canada, you have a Bassmaster Classic champion. A wire to wire win for Jeff Gustafson, your 2023 Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic champion, Jeff Gustafson. Gusty gets it done and finishes in spot number one. And for the second time in history, there is an international Bassmaster Classic winner. And for the first time, the Classic Trophy heads north of the border. Jesse! He did not do this alone. He has got incredible support. And I'd like to bring out his wife right now. Let's hear it for Team Gustafson. We started with 55, 25 went out today, and now there is one. That one is the very first Canadian to ever win a Bassmaster Classic title. Jeff Gustafson, there's a lot of shiny trophies you can win in this sport. There is one title for the rest of your life. You're a Bassmaster Classic champion. How does it feel? Oh. <laughs> That's my Stanley Cup right there. <laughs> Shanna, you know, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little confused here. There's a lot of wives backstage. Man, you, you know how hard he works. Yeah. How hard was it today for you? Today. Uh, unbelievable. Today was very hard. I think it was harder for him, but it was, it was pretty hard for me too. <laughs> but this makes it worth it. You know how hard he works, and how fun is this going to be to bring back home? So much fun. So much fun, and this fun is not done. Gussie, tell me how you did it. Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I think everyone watched, but uh, had two pretty good tournaments at this body of water, and uh, I don't know what it is, but, um, but yeah, every fish I've caught, both tournaments on a Z-Man jerk shad, four-inch jerk shad, um, I used the smelt color for just about all my fish this time. I, I did play around with the, some smaller baits, some different colors, but and uh, a 3 8 uh, smeltinator jig head. And my buddy Brian Gustafson's up here, uh, Lake of the Woods Sports Headquarters in, up in our hometown. Um, it's the best jig for this technique. It's got a good Gamagatsu hook in it. and The Z-Man plastics, there's a lot of jerk shads out there, but the Z-Man stuff's buoyant, and that helps it sit horizontal, natural in the water, and um, that's, that's what I caught all my fish on. I got, a, I got a lot of them under the boat, and then now with Mega Live on the front, I can look out in front of me, and they were getting a lot harder to catch after the first day, so I was actually having to, to pitch at them and swim the, the jerk shad over top of them, and thankfully I got two of them to bite today, but I bet you I had a hundred look at it, and. I mean, I was throwing at fish all day, and um, that's why I did, didn't, you know, I, I had a lot of bad thoughts going through my head, and what do I do next? But um, I stuck with it, and it <laughs> just barely got enough. You already said this is your Stanley Cup, and uh, there is a tradition. There's a lot of things drunk out of a Stanley Cup. How, how are you going to figure out how to drink out of this bad boy? Well, I got some crazy Canadians. We got a bunch of crazy Aussies here, and... I got a lot of friends in Tennessee, and we're going to figure it out tonight for sure. This American dream, to come here across the border. I mean, at one time, people said a Canadian would never make the Elite Series. We now have four. Man, how good has Tennessee been to you? Yeah, I love this state. And uh, you know, uh, we, we've talked about moving, trying to move down here maybe at some point, And uh, this is probably where we'd set up shop. I love the fishing. I love the people. And um, Knoxville's probably our favorite city, so. And I love Teleco Lake, too. An incredible, incredible performance. I'm incredibly proud of you, but you're about to make one of the most iconic boat rides in professional bass fishing. I know this dream started years and years ago. Let's load up his boat, Shelby Gustafson, and Jeff Gustafson, the 2023 Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic Champion. Oh, Canada, 
finally you have a Bassmaster Classic champion. And for the first time in history, the most coveted title in professional bass fishing heads north of the border.